You know, it's only natural that when you get a new gun, other gun guys want to see it. It's kind of like our own shopping haul videos. I love watching other people get a new gun, seeing what they got, and seeing if it's something I might want to have. But, you know, I've never been bothered as much by people to show a new gun I've gotten as I have with the one I just purchased. I let people know in an Instagram post and at the end of a video I did last week that I had bought this gun, and since then, people have been crawling up my ass, show us the gun, show us the gun, show us the gun. And, you know, I told people, you'll get to see it when you earn the right to see it, but, you know, I've decided you all are never going to earn the right, so I'll go ahead and show it to you tonight. And that gun is my new Beretta M9A3. As you can see, it comes in a very nice case that kind of looks like a plastic ammo box. So let's take a look at what actually comes in the box with the gun. In the box, you have the manuals and the papers. Then, of course, you have the gun itself, and the gun has one magazine in it already. And then you have two other extra magazines, so the gun comes with three magazines total. And then over here on the other side here, you have an extra grip, which we'll talk about later. Okay, now the first thing I think you're going to notice right out of the gate is the collar. Like I said in another video, this looks like someone painted it with colors from the diarrhea rainbow. It is that kind of baby poop brown and green that is so popular nowadays. Now the next major thing I think you'll notice about the gun other than the poopy colors is this straight back strap. This has a vertex style grip on it, which means it is a more of a 1911 style, more of a flat straight grip. Now that's where this extra grip I showed you earlier comes into play. This is a wraparound grip, and if you put this on that vertex style grip, it gives you more of that traditional Beretta hump. Makes it a little bit thicker and gives you that hump back to it, just like it would have if it was a normal Beretta. So this gives you options. You can either have that thinner vertex grip or you can have a more traditional Beretta grip that has the hump here that's a little bit thicker just by changing that grip out. Now, another big difference you'll probably notice right off the bat here is it does come with a threaded barrel. I don't know of any other Berettas that come standard with a threaded barrel. This might be the first one, but that is a nice option. If you're going to put a can on this, it's already ready to go. It would need other sights if you wanted to put raised sights on it, but the barrel's ready to accept a can. Now, the other really noticeable physical difference is the rail. This has more of a standard, traditional rail on it. Berettas usually have a one-slot rail. As you can see here on this compact, it has the one slot rail that has been more uh, traditional on Berettas, but now the M9A3 has a more standard rail. Now the last big physical difference that you probably can't really notice though is the slide. The slide is a universal slide. It can be a type FS or a type G. On the type FS, it has a decocker and manual safety where it stays in a safe position when you decock it. Or by simply changing out the safety here, you can make this into a type G where it's decocker only. And Beretta is supposed to be making the safety, the little kit where you can actually change that out at home easily yourself. They haven't made it yet, but hopefully soon they will. You can also notice one other difference about the safety here. It is slightly angled up. That is to keep you from accidentally engaging the safety while racking the slide, especially if you're using an overhand method. Now, another difference you'll notice on this Beretta from a regular Beretta is the sights. The rear sight is more substantial. It is a night sight, and the front sight is dovetailed and swappable. Now, this is not exactly a new feature. It's standard on their Brigadiers, but they've actually brought it over and using it on the M9A3 also. Now, another little mechanical difference here is the M9A3 comes with an extended, exaggerated size magazine release. This makes it easier to drop the magazine, especially if you're wearing gloves. And speaking of the magazines, the magazines are something I want to talk about also. A couple of things you'll notice right off the bat is, one, these are 17 rounders. So this makes your Beretta an 18 round 9mm pistol. And they will work in any Beretta 92 gun. They'll turn any one of your Beretta 92s into an 18 rounder. All they did was extend the base plate a little bit here, but it's worth it to have those extra two rounds. Most of the extension is in the back here, not in the front, so it really doesn't make any difference. And another thing you'll notice about the mags is the coating and that little channel there. That is made for desert environments where there's lots of sand. That channel helps channel the sand away, and this coating helps it stop from gumming up while it's inside the gun. When they first took these guns over to desert environments, they were having some problems with the cheap third-party aftermarket magazines they were using. So Beretta supplied them with some actual Beretta magazines that are made for that type of environment, and that solved their issues. And while we've got the magazine out here, as you can see, the magazine well is beveled. I don't know how important that is to you, but that is one difference. Now, one change in this gun you can't see from most stock Berettas is it is shipping with the D-spring installed. That makes the double action pull very smooth, very light, very easy to use accurately. 
and it makes the single action pull just a dream. It's just an amazing trigger. This is a gun you will enjoy firing at the range. And that light crisp trigger will help you get the best groups you can possibly get. Now that I've talked about all the changes Beretta made to the gun, some people have asked me, are there any changes I'm going to make to the gun? Because, you know, I like to do a lot of work on my guns. But I have to say, there's probably not much change I'm going to do to this gun. Now, I might replace the guide rod. It has a plastic guide rod. I might replace that with a fluted metal guide rod. But I might not because the plastic guide rods work great and they don't bend. Now, I will change this to a Type G once they start producing the Type G kits. But right now, that's not an option. But hopefully it will be soon. Now, there is only one change I'm definitely going to make, and that is changing out these gnarly slot head screws that they put on these grips. These will be gone pretty soon, and I'll have some hex heads in here because I can't believe they actually put these on here. And if that's the only change I end up making, then you know this gun was pretty great right out of the box. So overall, my initial impressions of this gun are awesome. I think they've taken an A-plus gun and made it into an A-plus-plus gun. Now, I'll be able to give you a more in-depth review once I get it to the range a couple of more times. But for right now, it shoots like any other Beretta I've ever fired, which is amazingly well, especially with that D-spring in it. So it's just a top-notch gun. And if you ask me, this is the gun the military should be going to for their new sidearm.